Hi guys, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be 3D modeling the Theragun from the last video. First I set up some folders for the main parts and set up some reference images in the scene. The first thing that I wanted to do was to create this outside profile of the main handle part and to turn this into a mesh. A great technique for this is to trace the outside edge with polygons, making sure to add enough that it's going to maintain its shape when we add subdivision, and then to fill in the middle. I offset this profile and join the mock. To round the edges of the handle, I added a few bevels and increased the number of loops to maintain its rounded shape. Moving on to this outside casing part, I started off with a cylinder and deleted one side to leave a circular plane with 16 edges. By rotating this into position, I could just extrude some edges down to make the long part. Now the parts I made earlier for the handle and the inside casing are actually joined on the actual product, so I rebuilt these parts to be joined. Blender lets you draw polygons onto another mesh by using the snap to face setting. So the next part of the video is mainly rebuilding the topology of this part and trying to organise the polygons in the best way. By rebuilding this part, can also include a split line which actually separates the handle into two separate parts.
Okay, so that part was a little bit tedious, mainly because I can't see all of the detail in the reference images, so some parts were a little bit confusing, and I had to reproportion the model slightly. The next part of the model was the screen. To do this, I created a slot shape from a circle, and I moved the vertices around a little bit and joined them to make the slot a part of the main mesh.
few buttons and shapes on the underside of the casing. I made these from a circle shape and positioned them from the side view. Using the shrink wrap modifier, I projected the shapes onto the mesh and applied it to convert the shape into geometry. I added some loops to the underside of the mesh and joined the button shapes to make one mesh. Okay, so I'm quite happy with the overall shape, so let's add a few simple lights to the scene and take a look at the model. So this is the model so far after the modeling stage. Thanks for watching and let me know what you think in the comments. I'm going to make a quick render video of this model for part 2, so give me a subscribe if you want to see that. Cheers and see you in the next one.